In this video, I want to do an example of con momentum conservation that leads to a, kind of a counterintuitive result. So in this case, I'm going to take a, uh, I have a large block here, and this block uh, is 10 kilograms, and I'm going to uh, shoot it with a very small bullet going at a very large speed. So we have a 10 gram bullet. It's traveling at 100 meters per second. And it's going to come through, and it's going to go all the way through this block and come out the other side. And with it, it's going to take a little chunk of the block with it. The little chunk of block that comes out with it is 0.2 kilograms, and this leftover uh, bit is traveling at 20 meters per second after the bullet pushes it out. Of course, the, the bullet itself has slowed down now to 60 meters per second after it exits the block. And the question is, uh, what is the end velocity of the block? Okay. So invoking the impulse approximation, any sort of friction is negligible during the time interval that the bullet goes through the block. What is the, and we can see 100 meters per second if this, the block is maybe a tenth of a meter, the whole process is, is millisecond time scale. So the impulse approximation is certainly uh, valid in this instance. So what happens to the block? Well, let, let's look then at uh, conservation of momentum. So what is our initial uh, momentum? We need a coordinate system. So this is all one dimension, and so I'm going to give positive x-axis to the right. So initially, the only thing with any momentum is, is the bullet. So we have some total momentum, and it's uh, x-axis, so I'm just dealing with x components then, is the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.01 kilograms, times the velocity, which is 100 meters per second, and so we have a positive 1 kilograms meters per second momentum. Okay, after the bullet goes through, what sort of momentum do we have? Well, we have the momentum of the bullet, and that's uh, 0 0.01 mass times its velocity, which is 60, and also in the positive x direction, so that's plus uh, 0.6. And then we have the momentum of the leftover, we'll call that P sub L, we'll give ourselves a little more space here, and that's 0.2 kilograms, and its velocity, which is 20, and so that's a plus 4, then. And then the uh, momentum of the remaining block, so remaining, P sub R, is the remaining mass, which is 9.8 kilograms times its velocity V, and so that's unknown, 9.8 V. And so the sum of all of this must equal 1. And so the sum of this here is, is uh, so let's get this out here, now we'll solve our math. So 1 is equal to 4.6, I'm adding this together, plus 9.8 V subtract 4.6, 9.8V is equal to negative 3.6, or V is equal to negative 0 0.37 meters per second. It's going backwards. Ah, backwards. Which is kind of counterintuitive, isn't it? So the bullet is going in the positive x direction, and that's the, the only thing interacting with the block, but after it takes out some of the block with it, that sends the remaining part of the block in the opposite direction. 
and that comes directly from conservation of momentum. In fact, you can think about it um, alike how a rocket propels itself by expelling some of its own mass in one direction, it propels itself in the other. And so here, with the bullet's help, the block expels some of its mass in one direction, which then gives it a velocity in the opposite direction.